Hey everyone, this is PSVR2 Villain. Welcome uh, to our review of Ghostbusters Rise of the Ghost Lord on PSVR2. As you might expect, dropping on a Proton Pack, or in this case a Proton Wand, is a pretty thrilling experience. But does the latest addition uh, to the Ghostbusters franchise live up to the hype? Well, let's dive right in. The game kicks off with a promising storyline. You as a Ricky Ghostbuster are tasked with capturing an ancient powerful ghost known as the Ghost Lord who threatens to bring chaos to the city. Initially, you are tasked with going into the mission to pick up your ghost busting gear that was left there by, uh, by the rest of the crew. But you meet the Ghost Lord and a strange girl, ghost girl who fight each other initially. When it comes to the VR immersion, you're roaming eerie haunted locales and capturing or blasting mischievous spirits feels incredibly authentic and the experience comes down to watching for a ghost and knowing how to either destroy or catch them uh, as well as dealing with some uh, puzzles that you may encounter uh, when it comes to actually getting the ghost sometimes you do have to figure out what needs to be shot at and uh, worn down and how to capture them shortly after Ghost busting is pretty fun and very satisfying. Using the proton wand traps and other ghost capturing gadgets is also enjoyable. It's clear the developers put effort into adapting the iconic tools of the trade for VR. They did a pretty good job. Um, your spectrometer, uh, this gives you a map and also helps you with locating certain things um, there on the map. So you may be guided towards uh, like a clue or another area that you have to uh, investigate and figure out how to proceed forward. Um, your ghost trap, you can shoot them out and retract them back pretty quick when you need to capture something. Uh, your proton wand, it's pretty interesting. Like I said, it had two handles, um, so you can use it one-handed from what I remember, and uh, or you can use two. Um, a lot of times when things were getting crazy, I was kind of doing both. I was using uh, one hand and trying to shoot and trying to uh, send out my traps with the other hand. Um, it could get a little hectic at times, so when you're playing online, it's, it's definitely helpful um, to have somebody else out there. So you all are kind of working together on this. In terms of graphics and performance, the game looks great on PSVR 2. Good visuals, good gameplay. Um, there were some times when I got kind of stuck in random spots and I could not move, um, but I'm sure that'll be fixed with a future patch. Um, it has a kind of cartoonish feel to it at times. Uh, sometimes it works with it, with it when it comes to like the character's looks, sometimes not so much, but for the most part it's okay. Um, when it works, it works. I have experienced some bad bugs, I so won't lie in this. Um, outside of getting stuck in certain areas over and over, uh, which was far easier than I think it should have been, um, there were there were times when the audio would just completely go out of control. It would get extremely loud and then it would just break and then there's no more sound. Hopefully they can fix that, but I, I don't know how soon it would be. Uh, Ghostbusters Rise of the Ghost Lord, it provided a thrilling and immersive ghost busting experience, especially on the PSVR 2. Um, there's a whole new crew of Ghostbusters um, that you are uh, working alongside. You know, you're going to go online. Uh, you're going to be you're potentially competitive. You can do all this on your own too, but I think going online with other people, uh, interacting with them, talking with them, I think it's a fun experience. There will come new modes and updates uh, and DLC. Um, hopefully the current version will have uh, the bugs uh, taken care of uh, sooner than later. For right now, I'm giving Ghostbusters Rise of the Ghost Lord a 3.5 out of 5. If you're a Ghostbusters fan, I think this game is going to be for you. Um, and please don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe for more gaming reviews and content for PSVR 2. And until next time, for the love of God, don't cross the streams.